Hey fellow streamers, my name is Neverhu and this is episode 3 of Liar on Board tutorial series. And in this episode we are going to create a voice changer. So you can speak like that, Kawaii, Nani? Or like that. Hey you, yeah, I'm talking to you. Go and hit the subscribe button right freaking now. I'm waiting. Or maybe you want to become a robot for some reason. Or maybe you're in a large hall talking to a whole bunch of people. Well, it's all up to you. So let's go and learn how to do that. Okay, in order to change our voice, we are going to be using no external programs, just some plugins. Those are called VST plugins that are used in all digital audio workstation, basically audio editing software. And I'm gonna put download links to two good plugins in the description below. Just go download that, install that, and come back to the video. Go, 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 I'm waiting. Okay, welcome back. You've done that. Cool. What you want to do next is go to your OBS audio mixer uh, on your mic aux device, right click the cogwheel, and press filters. You'll be greeted with this window. As you can see, I have already voices preset up, but I'm gonna show you how to do that. So in audio filters, you press plus and you select VST2X plugin. Let's call it test so we can test. Then you go, if you are going to use RIA plugs, then go and select RIA JS and press open plugin interface. And you will see this window. Press load, go to pitch and go to super pitch. So basically here you can change your voice. Let me turn my monitoring on so I can hear what the heck am I doing. And you should do the same. How to do that? Just right click uh, on your any audio source and press advanced audio properties and on your mic aux just select monitor only. Yes, it's gonna be a little bit delayed, but you need to do this in order to actually set up. So you go to super pitch and here, pitch adjust, as you can see, changes my voice. So you want to experiment with that. If you like this voice, all you need to do is just close that window. And whenever you deselect or hide, this filter, you're gonna come back to your normal voice. So we've selected and we've set up our high voice. Let's do the same but with a different plugin for our low voice. Pass two. So you do the same. You select, uh, it's gonna be called Auburn Sounds Grelian 264. Whatever that means. Hey, future never here. I would recommend against using something except Rhea Pitch or Rhea JS, because, well, when you close OBS with other plugins, uh, VST plugins installed and in use, your OBS is gonna crash. So it won't affect your streaming. It's, it's working all right when you stream, but whenever you close your OBS, it's gonna crash. Not big of a deal, just just an advice, that's it. Once again, open plugin interface, and th with this, Cogwell, you'll be changing your voice again. So, I kinda want it like that. And another thing, if you want to be robot, just add dry voice, voice to the mix. And, and it gonna become rather, rather loud. So you want to decrease your gain a bit. Something like that should be pretty good. So, as you can see, you can hear my natural voice and pitch shifted voice. And that's how you make yourself sound as a robot. After that, just click close and disable the filter. Okay, what we're gonna do next is go to our Lyron board. Okay, and I want to turn off my monitoring. 
So in our Laren board, we want to create a button for you to use with which you can turn on and off your filters at your will. So what we want to do is create a new button, right? Right, let's call it whatever, let's call it test. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Let's add commands to this. So the, the easiest way to do this is going to be filter change visibility command. You select your microphone as a source and your filter name. Let's go, let's let it be test two. And you just do toggle done, done. Here we go. We have our button and what happens? You don't know. Well, you know, I don't because I can't hear myself and I can't monitor filters if they are on or off. So in order to monitor that, I need to go to OBS and see if it's on or off. As you can clearly see, now it's off and I can see that. Now it's on and I can see that. But doing this every time you turn on or off your filter or going to this filter settings to check if it's on is rather inconvenient, right? So what we're going to do next? We need to edit commands and let's delete this one. We don't want to use toggle. So in order to make our commands and make our button, we need to check if this filter is on. In order to do that, we go and do math pull filter visibility. So it's going to be mic filter going to be test2. And a value of name, we're going to call it filter state. So first of all, we need to turn on our filter. And in order to do that, we need to do compare command, compare skip if. By the way, guys, if you don't understand how skip if, compare and all other commands work in compare section, let me know in the comment section below so I can make a separate video if you need that and explain how this works. So basically, this is our reverse logic. And we're going to be doing if filter state is one, we're going to be skipping all the commands that go after that button. Okay, after this command, we're going to be skipping three steps, you'll see why in a, in a little bit. So basically, with filter state equals one, we are going to be turning on our filter. Because this is a reverse logic. We're going to skip this if this filter is on, and we're going to execute the following commands if this filter is off. Okay? Okay. So, in order to turn our filter on, we're going to go and do filter change visibility command. Source name Mike, and filter name test2, and we're going to enable it. Next thing we want to do is we want to hear what's going on. By the way, go update your layer on board, otherwise it's not going to work, you won't have this command. Go and update it right now, that's when you need it. And command going to be change audio monitor type. So it's going to be mic, monitor type going to be monitor only, so you can hear what's going on. And we want to have a graphical representation that our filter is on, so we're going to change our button color. We do modify button command, go check what's your button ID, just right click the button and you'll see your button ID. If you press it, it will be copied. So let's paste our button ID and let's change the, the color of our button to, mm, let's, let's make it green, okay? If you don't want to change text, well, you can do that. I mean, you can type like like this, so it, it's going to show that it's on, or you can just type no text and it won't change text. So this sequence of commands turns on the filter. Now we need to turn it off. So let's go and copy all those commands. Let's paste those. So now filter state is going to be zero. So we are going to turn it off. So we change true to false in our filter change visibility, monitor type to none, and we can reset the color of our button. In order to do that, you just type minus one in all the fields. 
And here we go. Let's go and test that button. Here we go. Now we can hear myself, ourselves, and let's go check if filter is enabled. And it definitely is. And as you can see, button became green. And when we press it again, it's going to be disabling the filter and turning back to gray. That's pretty much it. That's how you do for each and every filter. Just repeat those steps and you'll have all those voice available to you. So it's not that hard to do, is it? All right. But what if you want to do triggers? You want your viewers to be able to redeem points and change your voice. Well, it's pretty simple too. Let's go back to our Lyran board and create a new button. Let's call it low voice trigger. Let's make it a little bit bigger. And let's add uh, let's add commands. So what we want to do is the following. Change filter visibility. Source name going to be Mike. Ox. Filter is going to be, for example, test. And filter enable, we're going to set to true. Then we want to hear ourselves. So we're going to do change audio monitor type. Source name is going to be Mike. Ox. Monitor type is going to be monitor only. And then we want to change our button color. Modify button. Button ID is going to be, I think it's going to be 54, but you can go and check. So yeah, it's going to be 54. Edit command. So button ID 54. Oh, 54, come on. And let's make it red. 25500 text. No text. So this is going to turn our filter on and we want to, I don't know, we want it to last for like five seconds. So what we do, we select our, uh, all our commands, copy it, paste it, and we set everything to false, none, and we reset the button color. Just like that and say, we said delay for 5,000 milliseconds, which means that it's gonna last for five seconds. Okay, here we go. And now we do add Twitch triggers, point redeems, and let's say it's gonna be, you go to your Twitch, you create your, your trigger, you create your redemption, and you put the name here, like, Let's call it low voice. So whenever someone redeems that, it's gonna work like this. You're gonna hear yourself, you're gonna see the button triggered, and then you're gonna return to your normal voice. So yeah, that's pretty simple, I think. And it works rather great. Okay, so thank you very much for watching. This is going to be the end of this episode. So, if you want to catch me live, uh, go follow here, twitch.tv slash neverhu. I stream mostly on weekends. You can come discuss Lyran board, ask me questions, and do all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, thanks again, and bye!